Okay, he's tied into the water line from the shop. Found it right there next to the little water spigot on the ground there. And dug himself a trench. How deep was the trench, Randy? Two feet? Three feet? Two and a half foot deep so that the line doesn't freeze in the winter. Hasn't got it all connected yet, but he will. Mommy. Oh yes, hi Harper. Yeah, let's not climb. Be careful. So he's put this board up here to help the slough off. It's going to have two different valves. One on the inside for to turn the water off and on. He's going to put another one up here. Uh, so if the line breaks underground, we can shut it off before it floods my wallapini. He has put four to five inches of gravel down for drainage. <clears throat> Some lumber he's gonna use to frame up the hoop house. Over here, we have our boxes. We built those yesterday. They're four by four foot boxes. They're all stacked on top of one another, but they're about 10 inches tall, 2 inches wide, and 4 by 4. We've got 10 of them. Uh, so we'll do raised beds um, in the wallapini. Should be plenty of room to grow my veggies. the boards we use to build our our raised beds oh thank you the oil is for my truck the lift gate is stuck down which is kind of poopy I can't bring it in or out of the shop but In the back of the truck, <clears throat> we have all of my potted goodies all ready to go in the wallapini when it's built and ready to take plants. We've got some, that there's a pineapple. And this here is pomegranate. Got a banana. And that's a lemon. This is an orange. Another banana tree right there. And then there's some tomatoes and pepper plants. Got a little bit of broccoli, green peppers. So all of those will stay in their pots. Um, so yep, that's where we are today.